Okay, I've got this object here, and it is made up of a bunch of faces and lines, and surfaces, and that kind of thing. And I'm going to want to turn it into a component, and I'll show you why. Um, for one thing, if I just try to move it, it'll only move whatever single thing, like in that case a line, a face, or a point, and that's no good. Sometimes you want to do that, but in this case I want to move the whole thing. I could triple click it and then move it, but it's kind of a pain to have to triple click it every time I want to move it if I need to move it often or you know if I want to move it quickly. Another reason to use a component is let's say I copy this and line it right up next to it. Whenever things are touching in SketchUp that aren't components, they will become one object. And so now when I triple click it, it selects the entire thing even if I only wanted to select half of it. So what I want to do is turn it into a component. So I'm going to triple click it to select the whole thing. Double clicking is just selecting an entire face. Um, and then I'll hit the little glass box up here. The shortcut is G and it'll ask me to name it. I'll just call it school because it looks kind of like a school. And now you can see it looks a lot different. It's got this kind of glass box around it. Now when I want to move it, I don't have to select the whole thing. I just move it. And another advantage of components is that when I put the move tool on top of it, it gives me these little red crosshairs and those mean I can rotate it. So if I want to rotate it this way, just grab it and it does that. Or I can rotate it this way or I can rotate it this way. It's pretty cool. And so that's why I want a component.